next big wave of AI innovation will come from enhanced user experiences. And that is exactly what Teradata is delivering today with AI Unlimited on Microsoft Fabric. This powerful integration combines Teradata's industry-leading compute engine with Microsoft Fabric's data management and data lifecycle capabilities to empower data scientists, data analysts, data engineers, and developers to quickly experiment, to quickly explore, prototype, and deploy AI ML pipelines at scale with ease. My name is Janet Graziani. I am a developer advocate at Teradata, the most complete cloud analytics and data platform for AI. Before I dive into an end-to-end -end demo, I would love to share three reasons for why I'm particularly excited about AI Unlimited on Microsoft Fabric. Reason number one, you can easily explore, experiment, and confidently work with data in one link or in any cloud object store using Delta Lake or Iceberg OpenTable formats. Reason number two, customers familiar with Teradata's engine can now use our in-database analytics in a serverless-like experience without impacting production environments. And best of all, it's cost-effective, seamlessly packaged into your Microsoft Fabric experience and can scale down, giving you more control over your spend. Now it's time to explore an end-to-end -end demo to show you all how it works. What you're seeing here is Microsoft Fabric's homepage. Fabric can be described as an all-in-one platform for data engineering, data science, and data analysis needs. It essentially brings together Microsoft's existing suite of products, builds upon them, offering a platform with unified governance and security across all of its products. And AI Unlimited is Teradata's standalone product that integrates natively with Fabric providing you with access to ephemeral compute, Teradata SQL engine with over 150 in-database analytic functions and the ability to concurrently process million road data sets with Teradata's AI Unlimited massively parallel processing engine. To explore the available applications, also known as workloads in Fabric, we can navigate via the left menu and select our workloads tab. Here we can see the different workloads that we have access to via Fabric, as well as any that have been added by my organization via the Workload Hub, similar to an application store. You can select any card to view the description, manage capacities, and add users. I can also enter shared workspaces where I can collaborate on lake houses, warehouses, and notebooks with my colleagues. For this demonstration, I want to enter my own workspace. Let's start by getting data to explore and experiment with Fabric. I'll select this new button, more options to find a lake house. I will create a new lake house called demo. Now I have a retail data set sitting in an, in an ADLS Gen 2 bucket. I don't want to move that data yet, Rather than moving the data, I will create a shortcut via files. I will select the new shortcut tab and select my source as Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. I can input my credentials to establish a connection and view my data. For this demonstration, I will use an existing connection. Once we establish our connection, we can view the available data sets. Here, I will select the UK retail data to demonstrate how you can data prep with our over 150 in-database functions. I will be creating a Delta table from this data set. To create my Delta tables from UK retail data, I can select the files. Upon inspection, I see I have Parquet files. I proceed to load to tables and I'll select new table. I'll provide a new table name and select the file type. And we proceed to load our table. While our table is loading, I will navigate to AI Unlimited. I will use the UK retail data set to show you how seamlessly you can prepare data using AI Unlimited's in database functions. If you notice to the top right, we have provided sample AI Unlimited notebooks to help you get started during your preview of AI Unlimited. Today, we will review the sample data preparation notebook. 
We also have published a sample customer financial journey where we demonstrate how you can analyze online customer behavior to increase acquisition and adoption. The segmentation demo shows how to optimize customer segments using in-database functions and generative AI. Text reviews are transformed into embeddings using open source large language models to improve segmentation. If any of those sound interesting, I recommend you check them out. Now, let's get started. I will select the sample data prep notebook to begin our demonstration. I will provide a name and select create. Once in the notebook, I can access the lake house and table I just created. I select connect. I can also quickly drag over the table to inspect the data set we're working with. As you can see here, I have the first 10 rows from the UK retail data, and we have columns that include information such as the invoice number, the stock code, the description for an item, the quantity of items purchased, the invoice date, unit price, customer ID who purchased the item, and the country. We can also perform an additional select statement to view the total count of rows in our data set. And here we see that we're working with over 406,000 rows in our data set. Let's explore a hypothetical scenario to demonstrate how you can apply data science techniques to this data set. Let's suppose we are a data scientist or data analyst at a large online retailer. Despite having millions of rows of data in object storage, the company lacks insights into its shopper demographics. Your goal is to provide insights that will enable the marketing department to deploy personalized marketing strategies at scale. You also know that data preparation and transformation tasks are some of the most time-consuming and labor-intensive steps in the ML and AI development lifecycle. Made even more challenging is that once development is complete, all these tasks must be replicated or migrated onto a production-ready system that will support operational SLAs, performance, and concurrency requirements. But then you remember that you have access to AI Unlimited on Fabric, which enables you to use Teradata's native processing analytic functions, which will help you reduce the amount of code you write and the code you need to maintain. And you can seamlessly migrate your work into production on Vantage Cloud Lake. It's impossible to the human eye to be able to identify insights from this data set. What we can do is generate features that will help us group customers according to their consumption patterns. For example, if we take the quantity of products that each customer purchased and multiply that by the unit price they paid, we can derive their total spend. This is considered a feature engineered from the existing data that we have. While data preparation, data cleaning, and feature engineering are often time-consuming tasks, Teradata employs modular efficient functions to significantly reduce the time, and these functions are available on AI Unlimited. Our approach enhances efficiency and performance by up to 30%, allowing for faster feature engineering and quicker insights. Once features are derived and scaled, we can move forward with creating customer clusters using K-means algorithms. Now, these K-means algorithms will help us uncover shopper demographics and consumption patterns. The K-means algorithm is a popular machine learning technique that clusters data points together based on similar numerical characteristics, also referred to features. Let's quickly go over the steps and proprietary functions you would employ in K-means clustering to identify spending patterns from this data set. Let's close out of our sources to expand our notebook and We've already explored our data set, so we can skip these initial exploratory steps. Let's begin by selecting data points for testing. What we're doing here is we're selecting five customer IDs to set aside for a tr test train split. We're essentially putting aside a small sample of data 
in a UK retail test table that will help us evaluate the accuracy of our clustering attempts. Each clustering attempt will identify centroids. By clustering the test data around these centroids and evaluating how well they fit, we can assess the accuracy of our clustering methods. We then move on to preparing our training data. We group by customer ID and exclude our testing data and create our customer ID group table that we will use for training. And now we're finally ready to review Teradata Vantage's modular function. The next step involves using the Vantage feature engineering fit and transform functions. This is an approach that makes data cleaning, feature engineering, and processing more modular and efficient. We first create fit tables that will be used as input into a single TD column transformer function, which will process all transformations in a single operation. Let's create the first fit table using the TD outlier filter fit function, which will assist in removing the outliers by calculating the lower percentile, upper percentile, count of rows, and median for the training data in our customer ID group. Now let's address missing values with a second fit table. Using the TD simple impute fit function, we can assign a default customer ID value of 19,000 where the value of the column is null. This ensures that every record can be included in our analysis. With these two fit tables created, one for handling outliers and the other for imputing missing values, we can create a third fit table for feature engineering. We use the TD nonlinear combined fit function, which allows us to calculate the total sales by taking the total quantity and multiplying it by the total price. In a similar fashion, we use the same function, TD nonlinear combined fit, to generate a fourth fit table for additional features that give us the average sales per item on a specific customer. Up to this point, it's important to note that we have not performed any transformations on our data set. Instead, we have created four fit tables that provide the instructions for our transformation function. We now use these four fit tables in the TD column transformer function. This function will take our fit tables into the function and the function will execute all transformations required at once. When we run all fit table transformations together in one go, it gives approximately 30% performance improvement over running each transformation independently. This gives us a good set of features. However, they are not scaled. If you take a close look, we have total quantity, total items, which are numerical aggregations, and total price, total sales, and sales per item, which are monetary values. To handle the scaling, we employ TD Scale Fit and TD Scale Transform. And here we see that our customer ID has the following features, total quantity, total items, total price, total sales, and sales per item, all of which are scaled uniformly which is required by our chosen clustering method. Now that our features have been scaled, we are ready to perform our k-means clustering operation. To do this, we invoke the TD k-means function, which takes in an input table, our scaled and transformed trading, training customer data, and we set the number of clusters to five. This number or this value is typically set by data scientists depending on the business scenario at hand, and also various iterations to identify the adequate value for the cluster numbers. Our training will stop whenever we reach the stop threshold or the max number of iterations that we set. The output will be our k-means model table. We proceed to select the description of our k-means model table. And here we see that we have five different clusters with the respective centroid dimensions for each feature. For example, cluster zero is grouping customers that exhibit similar behaviors around total quantity spend, total price, total items, total sales, and so on. And the TD size k-means column tells us how many customers are in each cluster. 
it is so evident that cluster one has the most customers, significantly more than cluster three. This insight can be very helpful to a marketing department at our large online retailer store. The marketing department can take these insights and learn how to better tailor its marketing efforts or product offerings more effectively because they now understand which clusters represent larger customer bases and which ones may need more targeted strategies. Now, let's test the accuracy of our clusters by taking our test data through the same method we took our training data through. If you recall, we set aside five customer data points. We will prepare feature engineer, produce the same features we did for our training data all in one quick operation using the TD column transformer function and our fit tables that we've already prepared. All we need to do is invoke the TD column transformer and pass in our UK retail test data as well as our pre-prepared fit tables. And there we have our test data cleaned, prepped, and feature engineered in one single operation. We pass it in our prepped test data and our k-means model into our TD k-means predict function to place those test customers into clusters. When we inspect our table for the cluster testing data, we see that our five customers have been placed in a specific cluster. We can also quickly analyze how well the clusters have found a match using the TD silhouette function. If we get a number close to one, when we call the TD silhouette function, that means that the unseen data points can be clustered successfully around the centroids. If we get zero, that means that our data points are in between clusters. A negative number means that we would need to attempt to cluster the data again with different value for K or different parameters. As you can see here, the result we get is closer to one. So we can say that our testing data was clustered properly and confidently report to our marketing department. And that concludes our demonstration for how you can easily use AI Unlimited on Fabric and data in object store or open table formats to create k-means clustering and effectively extract insights like consumption or spending patterns from large amounts of data. Thank you so much for watching. If you're excited about AI Unlimited on Microsoft Fabric and would like to take the engine for a spin, scan the QR code to sign up for a trial of AI Unlimited on Microsoft Fabric. Until next time, 